Congratulations, you found the HTML tutorial with Notepad or on the Mac. Simple text open, go to the file menu and do open. I'm looking at the folder called Files for You where I have my HTML files stored. However, you don't see them in the window now because it's not looking for text files, it's looking for HTML. So I need to switch this pull down menu so that it says All Files, and there you are. Let's open the index file to start. Uh, I also have it set to Word Wrap. If it's not on Word Wrap, then I would have to scroll across. So I don't like that. I want to make sure it's on Word Wrap so everything stays in the visible window. The first tag that I would like you to edit on all pages is the title tag. Leave the tag actually in place, but we're going to change the title. This is my first web page. You can replace the words within the title tags uh, with anything you'd like. I just put that in the sample text. The next tag I'd like you to look at is the table tag. You'll notice it starts here and then continues all the way down the page before the table finally comes to a close here with this close tag. One of the cells or one of the rows actually in the table is marked with the TD for table data. We're going to change the text that's in that row, which is right here. Currently it reads header area. I'm going to replace that with, this is my home page. Again, you can replace that text with anything you'd like. I would though, prefer to have a one-liner for that area. The second portion of the table that we're going to edit is right below it. Again, another table data tag. The text that's present right now simply says body text. Please include two to three sentences about your web page. Again, these can be very general. This is the first web page I have created using HTML coding. I'm going to leave the text completely open to you, whatever you'd like to include on these pages. The, uh, the goal is not to necessarily uh, build a lot of content understanding here as much as trying to understand where the tags are and, and what they mean. So with that, we're going to move to the final editing portion of the tutorial in this assignment, and that is to create the links. You'll notice up above uh, a tag ahref and that is a tag that signals the browser that there is a link in place so you'll see the actual file that we're linking to and then following the actual file the text where the link appears so on this web page uh, there is a link labeled number two when I click on that link right there it goes to this file number two dot html in looking at the links that are currently on this page, I'm noticing that one is missing. Uh, if I go up here to the top, I see that there's a link to the index.html page. There is a link to number two.html, number three, and number four. However, the link to number one is missing. So in order to create this link, the easiest way to do that so that the code is not missing any characters is copy paste. So I'm gonna take this line right here, uh, carrot to carrot, and copy that and go right after the paragraph tag and paste. Now the correct code is in place, however, if I were to leave the file like this, what would show up on the page would be a link labeled number one, but when I clicked on it, it would go to number two.html. I don't want to do that. I want to have it go to number one.html. So I'll delete and put the number one, and that should do it. So in review, uh, for each of the pages that I'm having you download and edit this week, there will be places where you will need to edit the links, the ahref code. Please put a title within the title tags at the top and add some text within the table data tags. Alrighty, good luck. Please let me know if you need any assistance.